brought Reese on here this summer and we started putting our heads together and trying to figure out what this was going to look like, how we were going to incorporate these environmental science standards into a class where we hike around the campus, where we go to the rock gym and rock climb, where we actually catch fish. And it kind of came together kind of organically and easier than I thought it might. It's been a blast. Kids love it. Our attendance is almost 100% every day. All I ever think about, all I ever do outside of school is, is, is the outdoor recreation stuff. And I've been rock climbing since I was a kid. I love rock climbing. We partner with Climb Tulsa and Climb Tulsa is fantastic. Reese and I take a group of students over there every Friday. And so each individual class will go every other Friday. So each, each class gets five, each kid gets five trips to the rock gym. They boulder, they belay, they auto belay. Their confidence levels have skyrocketed. I believe that we've been really successful with the, our goal was they don't need us anymore when they finish, you know, our series of going rock climbing. And we were successful at that this year. So they, they're going on their own now. We've probably seen more growth, more individual student growth through rock climbing and any other activity we've been involved with this year. This class, puts kids outside where they, they have to pay attention. You can't help but to pay attention because there's stimulus everywhere all around you. Nature is just a, it's a huge catalyst for growth. You're gonna be cold, the wind's gonna be blowing, you're gonna get wet, you're gonna get stickers, you might get bit by ticks, you might, you know, a fish might fin you. If you don't concentrate on what you're doing, Mother Nature is just, is wonderful at kicking you in the teeth. And so you, it, it, it really helps kids slow down, and pay attention to what's going on around them. We started in the fall with a NASP archery program, National Archery in the Schools program, which is a simple compound bow with no sights, no release aids. If we started, the kids couldn't even hit the target. And then when we finished, they're just dialed in and just driving bullseyes. Like anything else, the first time you do something, it's tough and it was all new to them. They didn't like it very much. And as they repetitiously went through their, their shooting, it just, just improved, improved, improved. And when they walked out, those kids walked out of there feeling like they're 10 feet tall and, man, I can really do this. And, and you see their confidence levels grow. And it happens in fishing, it happens in, in shelter building. We've built fires and cooked on fires and a lot of these kids never struck a match before. And just to see their confidence levels grow is just it's really rewarding. I've had several instructors tell me that the experiences that I have in Outward Bound, those phenomenons that they experience, they bring them right back into their other subjects in mathematics and physics and biology and those kinds of things. And so those experiences tie right into the things that you know they're learning along the way and it's a lot easier for them to understand it. I've been teaching zoology and environmental science in Broken Arrow 15 years as a science teacher and the stuff that I'm getting to teach now is what I like to do outside of work. It's what I've done my whole life when I'm not working, so it's it's almost like I'm I'm never working anymore. <laughs>